London Stabbings 2018, London Knife Crime Statistics Including Attacks in Kensington, Greenwich, Higham Hill and Brent. Stabbings are on the rise as new figures show a surge in violent crime across the UK. Knife attacks are now spreading from cities to the home counties, The Sun Online takes a look at the harrowing statistics. At least 37 people have been fatally stabbed, and 62 overall killed, in London since the beginning of the year. Met Police records show 37, 443 recorded knife offences and 6,694 recorded gun offences across the UK in the year up to September 2017. In London, the problem was even more pronounced than the rest of the country with 12,980 knife crimes taking place in the capital, 2,452 more than the equivalent year. Four teenagers were stabbed to death in London on New Year and hash x 27 semicolon s eve alone, and 22 were killed in March, meaning the capital now has a higher murder rate than New York the popular U.S. city had a mere 21 killings in comparison. Commander Neil Jerome of the Met and Hash X 27 semicolon S Territorial Policing Command condemned the crimes, saying the four families had lost a loved one to senseless violence and the callous use of knives as lethal weapons. A shocking night of violence took place on February 20, 2018, with six people reportedly stabbed in North London. Russell Jones, 23 became the eighth person to die in a week after being ambushed outside shops near Ponders End Station in Enfield on Saturday, March 17. On 29 March a 23-year-old man died in hospital from stab wounds after being attacked and left for dead in Greenwich, southeast London. On April 4 a man in his 20s was stabbed to death in Hackney, East London. He was the 13th person to die in London in just 22 days. On Saturday, April 7, a woman was arrested on suspicion of attempted murder after stabbing a man outside Highbury and Islington Station. On April 11, a man was hospitalized after being stabbed at DLR Station at Stratford Station, East London. A woman in her 20s was arrested after stabbing a man in Isle of Dogs on April 12, 2018. Over that weekend two more people were fatally stabbed in incidents in Collindale and Brixton. On April 16, cops were called to Head Street in Limehouse, Tower Hamlets, and found a 17-year-old male suffering from multiple wounds. On April 21, a 20-year-old man was stabbed to death in Finsbury Park, marking the 62nd fatal crime fatality in London this year. On April 23, two teen girls were attacked in West Kensington and a man was knifed at Woolwich DLR station. On May 7, a man believed to be aged in his late teens or early 20s, was stabbed at 4.38 p.m. on Leytonstone Road in London. The condition of the victim is unknown while investigators have sealed off the street where the knifing happened. On May 8, three stabbings occurred. The first was a 16-year-old who was stabbed in the arm at the embankment in Twickenham. The second, a male said to be in his late teens, was found injured in Beresford Square. Greenwich after reports of a fight. A third teen was knifed in Hackney after a fight that allegedly saw young lads attack each other with machetes. On May 9, a 40-year-old man was stabbed in Shepherd's Bush in broad daylight and was rushed to hospital. Police have said his injuries are not life-threatening. On May 10, two 17-year-old boys were stabbed in Greenwich, just 90 minutes after a man was knifed multiple times in Wanstead. On May 16, Police attended the scene at Rue Islip, after a young man was stabbed repeatedly and was left fighting for his life. On May 20, cops found a man, believed to be in his 20s, to Mitcham in South London. He had been stabbed several times but he died at the scene. A day later on May 21, dad of two Marcel Campbell was stabbed to death outside an ice cream parlor in Islington. On May 27, a man was rushed to hospital after having his throat slashed near Richmond Bridge in southwest London. On May 28, a 14-year-old teenager was stabbed in the neck in Higham Hill, near Walthamstow. On May 30, a man, believed to be in his 40s, was stabbed to death in Kensington, West London. On June 1, 
A man was arrested on suspicion of murder after a woman was found stabbed to death in Brent, northwest London. On June 1, two people were slashed with a knife after trying to intervene in a robbery in Rotherhith, southeast London. On June 1, a 22-year-old man was left fighting for his life after being knifed in Cable Street, Shadwell, at around 6 p.m. On June 2, a man believed to be in his 40s suffered multiple stab wounds in Greenwich. On June 4, an 11-month-old baby was left fighting for his life after a 25-year-old man stabbed him and his 32-year-old mum in Feltham at around 7 p.m. On June 5, a man was left with serious but non-critical injuries after being stabbed outside Liverpool Street Station at rush hour. Knife crime across the country has risen by a staggering 21% in the 12 months to September 2017, according to quarterly figures released by the Office of National Statistics. Stabbings in London are at their highest level in six years, with a 23% rise from the previous year. Overall, crime had continued to fall in England and Wales, consistent with the general trend since the mid-1990s. You can WhatsApp us on 0781079 1502.